Right, welcome to the Vineyard 120 Challenge. Let me just remind you quickly what it's all about. 120 minutes to catch a fish, but not only that, I have to tie all the flies I'm going to use to catch the fish. So where am I? Well, I'm on sunny Draycott water. We've done all the small still waters. Last time we did a river. This time, the challenge is being extended. Large reservoir and fishing from a boat. Put my rods together. Little tip here, what I've done is I've actually put an intermediate and a midge tip on. So. I've got my envelope, I've got a stopwatch, Woo and now I've got 120 minutes to find out what's in them, tie with what materials are in here, and try and catch a fish. Let the time begin. Right, let's see what goodies venue. Oh, good, tying silk, good, varnish. Now, even though it's really, really peaceful here, what I've done, I've snuck up to the top of the rest of it, out of the wind, because it's blowing a hoolie out there. Right. Synthetic quill, nice one. Ha, ah, a little bit of marabou. Thank you, Benyard. A little bit of fringe wing. Yeah, that might come in handy. Would be good for the pike. Little bit of UV tail, that's gonna be used. Uh, edge bright. Don't think we've got time. Firefly. Mini booby eyes. Right, what hooks have we got? What hooks have we got? Yes, we got a grub hook. Right. First things first, I'm going to tie, obviously, a buzzer. And I've got some good material to tie the buzzer. Now, the reason to start with a buzzer is that I can varnish it as well and give enough time for it to dry. The great thing in the bag is it's synthetic quill. Better silk, and unfortunately there's only red silk in here, so it's going to be a red-headed buzzer. Synthetic will tied in and then make sure when you rib it up, it's just even spaces all the way up and then building up that thorax just to make it a little bit more bulbous. Then I want a contrasting color to the red silk. So goose by it, fantastic for this. We've got red, we've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got pink, but I think that the sunburst orange is the color to choose and tie that in as a cheek on both sides, whip finish, and then just a really, really nice coat of vanish. Next fly has got to be a nymph. Um, there is no peacock curl, so I want to tie a dial back. So the only material available to me in the tail is a, the bad marabou. So a, three or four wisps of bad marrow tied short. But the great thing with the marabou as well, I can also use it as the body material. So tie that in, twist it in, and then just rib it up. But also we can have a nice, rib of UV tail. Now if you're at home when you're tying it, then a little bit of copper wire just to protect that UV, UV rib because it, after one fish it would be ripped off. But today we're only interested in one fish so it doesn't really matter and I haven't got any copper wire anyway. Lastly I would like to have a throw tackle as well but we've got no material again to tie that so no problem. We'll use those goose bias again and just put two trigger points, one either side of the fly for the fish to target. The third fly to tie is, it's got to be a damsel. So the biggest hook, and this is a monster hook, thank you, Benyard. We've got the Firefly 4mm bead as well. There's no weight in it, but it's a great trigger point for those fish to target on. Brilliant bad marabou, so a big chunk of that in the tail, as much as you can get into it. The fringe ring, the pearlescent one, just a half a dozen strands over the top of the tail just to attract the fish. And then for the body, simple and easy, dub that bad marabou as much as you can get onto the hook so it is a load of movement underneath and just a little sneaky thing here put about half a dozen turns of that red silk just behind the bead so it acts as a trigger point. There are a couple of other flies I would like to try I would would like to tie a couple more gel bags but we haven't got the materials but I've got to tie one more and that has to be a booby. I heard over the weekend that the fish sometimes were down but then as soon as the cloud cover came up they were right up in the surface so that's very, very small, marabou booby. Again, bad marabou with a tail, simple and easy. Dub the bad marabou as a body, and then just a small, small eyed booby. And these are called swimmers because they don't actually really float in the surface, but they counteract the weight of the fly and the weight of the hook. So they sink really, really slow. But there you go, four flies tied, and still one hour, 36 minutes left to try and catch a fish. Ooh, crosswind. Right, the flies have gone on. 
what I've chosen is the um, Long Marabou Olive Taddy on the point, which has a bit more weight in it. Um, the buzzer, which I would normally put on the point, has gone in the middle dropper, and the Jowl Bath has gone on the top dropper. Got it in the midge, so what I'm doing is just staying in contact with it as they're dropping down through the levels. Um, just spoke to another boat angler. Ooh, big fish just moved in front of us. Let's get my flies there quick. Um, just spoke to another boat angler. Uh, it's really switched off. <laughs> They've had a couple of takes, so not fantastic. Uh, really, I would, if I was fishing now for pleasure, I'd have the draw gout, slow us down, what I'm going to try and do is cover as much water as possible, um, keeping in contact with these, but remember, I've got that olive marabou-tailed fly on the point, so every once in a while, although I'm nymphing it, I'm giving it a few extra pulls and speeding it up, so I'm getting that marabou to pulsate as well. I just wish I could have two or three turns of lead um, in the back. Don't do that! As he just hooked the fish behind me. Oh, I tied that booby, so it could be a case of take that big taddy off and put the booby up. Yeah, I know, don't keep reminding me he's an hour and 10 minutes left. I've got like five different things going through my head at the moment. Do I go back up to the shallows there and fish this method? Because we've been through it with a lure. Looking down that bank there, it's like Blackpool Beach. There's so many bank anglers on there. Um, was told that this part of the reservoir was fishing, and I mean, you can see by the amount of bank anglers on there. They've got to be fish in the area. I've seen one, two, three, the fourth bank angler down who's just casting now. He was playing a fish a few minutes ago. Uh, the guy on the anchor here, the other guy on the anchor here hasn't had a fish. The guy on the anchor behind me hasn't had a fish. Straighten out, please. That was a good, good fish. If that tightens up, that is a monster. Come on. I'm just gonna go back up to where I've seen those two fish, three fish, actually. There we go. Oh! <sighs> Time's ticking on at the moment. And uh, I've tried the lure, I've come back. I've had no follows at all to the lure. I can't believe it. Um, come back to the top of the wind. We've drifted a few times. And I've, yes, I put the anchor down. I've had to. Um, there's been the odd few fish just moving in the surface. So I think it's grinded out, midge tip, that little, little booby on the point, and it's just gonna be persevere, head down. Oh, there's fish there now. Literally 10 yards from the boat, just poked his nose up. Right. In a competition, we say head down, ass up, and keep going. Just changed it, just. I'm gonna play this really gentle. Really, really gentle. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh. oh, look at the fish, look at it, it's gorgeous. Ooh. With a shed of boat with me, you know this rainbow would have been in a long, long, long time ago. Oh, and I can't stretch my net out. Look at it, look at it. Oh, look at the size of that. Come on. Oh, I see the net. Come on, come on. Be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. Oh, that is a beautiful rainbow. Come on, head up, head up. <laughs> I tell you what, the gods of fishing are smiling at us. Did you see that? It even jumped into the net. 
Oh, gorgeous rainbow. Yes, challenge complete. Big reservoir. It was tough, but gorgeous rainbow to the net. Look at that. Three minutes, 46 seconds to go. And that's what I call leaving it to the wire. <laughs>